Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this Teespring tutorial, we'll be going over how to upload and edit your product designs. This includes how to resize images, update pricing, change colors, and much more. But before we get started, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new tutorial. Recently, I've been receiving a lot of questions about resizing images and the upload process for Teespring. So let's go step by step through the entire process so you can properly upload and edit your designs. So to get started, make sure you've logged into your Teespring account and we're going to look up at the top menu and click on the tab that says start designing. This should take you to the page where you can select the first product you want to add your design to. When we get to the Teespring editor, you'll be able to add any product you wish. So let's just start with this first product here, which is the unisex men's t-shirt. There are also several types of men t-shirts that you can choose from, so let's just click on classic tee. You'll be able to add any of the others as well when we get to the Teespring editor. Next, you'll be selecting the goal for your design. The first option is to buy, which is when you upload your design just to buy it for yourself, or to sell, where you list your designs online for free to make money. Since we're building a Teespring business, we're going to select the sell option. This should take you to the Teespring editor where you can start creating your products. So now let's design our men's t-shirt. The first thing we're going to do is add our design. To do this, let's go up to the button here and click on add image. You can then find and select the design you wish to add to your t-shirt. The design you selected should then appear on the t-shirt mockup on the right hand side. If your design appears to be too small or too large, it can easily be resized. If you click on the design, you'll see a box appear that will allow you to make edits. To resize your image, go down to the bottom right of the box and drag the corner here to resize your image. If you're making your image larger, make sure it stays within the print area. Any part of your design that goes outside the print area will not be displayed. You can also reposition your design by clicking the image and dragging it to the correct location. There we go. So now that my image has been resized and repositioned, let's select the product colors that we wish to offer. Under choose product colors in the left hand menu, let's click on this plus sign here. Here's where you can select all the different background colors you want your product to be available in. Some colors may not go well with certain designs, so take your time and go through each color and select the ones you want to offer. Once you've selected your colors, go down to the bottom and click on done. Next, you can select the price of your product. You want to set the price for both US dollars and euros. To the right of the price, you'll see the profit that you'll make for each sale. If you change your price, you'll see the profit per sale update as well. Once you've set your price, go ahead and look at the bottom and click on the continue button. And voila, you've just added your first product. You'll now see that your design will automatically be added to all the other products available on Teespring as well. But if you look on the left hand side, you'll see that the classic tee is the only product that we currently have selected for our store. To add the next product, simply hover over the product you wish to add and click on select styles. Most Teespring products have several styles that you can choose from. To add all the styles of a product to your store, you can click the checkbox beside select all styles at the top. But for this product, I think I'll just add the women's comfort tee to my store. For each product and style that you choose to add to your store, make sure you take the time to edit your design. You want to make sure to select the best colors and edit your design to make sure it's the right size and in the right location. So for this product, I'm going to make my design a bit bigger, drag it over to the correct spot inside the print area, and select the colors that I want to offer for this product. If you click on the edit button here, you can select the color that you want your customers to see first when visiting your shop. Since this product is a women's shirt, I think I'll select pink. You can then update your product prices if you wish, then click on save changes. On the left hand side, you can now see that I'll be adding a classic tee and the women's comfort tee to my store. You can now browse through all the other products and select, edit, and add all the ones that you want to offer for this design. Once you've added all your apparel products, you can also scroll down and add some accessory and home products as well. But just like your apparel products, make sure you take the time to resize, rearrange, and edit your designs on each product. On this cell phone case here for example, you'll see that my design has been cut off by this opening. So I'll just move my design down a bit, update the colors, and click on save changes. As you can see, the product now looks much better. 
If you look on the left hand side, you can now see that I have multiple different products that will be added to my store. Now that we've selected all the products that we wish to add, let's go down to the bottom and click on continue. Here's where you create your product listing. First, you want to come up with your product title and a good description. Make sure your title and description accurately describe your design and you also want to include relevant keywords that people might search for to find this type of design. On the right hand side here, you'll see a preview of how your title and description will look on your listing. Underneath your description, you can select the first image that you want your buyers to see. Simply click on edit and you can select to show the front view or the back view and select your featured background color. Once you've selected your color, go ahead and click on done. Next. You can edit the URL for your listing. It will automatically show up as your title, but you can edit the URL to include different keywords if you like. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on Publish Listing. Once your new product finishes uploading, your design should then be live on the Teespring platform. Here's a preview of what my new product listing looks like. From the drop down menu under Available Products, you can see all the products that we selected to offer. If you select a different product, you'll see the image on the left hand side change as well. Under colors, you'll see all the different colors that are available for the particular product that's selected. So that's a preview of how to upload your designs and edit your products on Teespring. To view our upcoming tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell. I'll see you in the next video.